Yeah, yes, sir. So the thing is, actually, we were discussing about uh, the problem statement and uh, all those things. But uh, the only major concern that I'm having is, uh, uh, do we uh, uh, do we need to create a whole website of a full stack and along with which we need to have a machine learning algorithm working like that? Else, uh, can we just create some basic yep. HTML? I mean, if you if you if you go through other problem statements or like if you go through previous years problem statements so you'll find they have written it very clearly that they want a full edge to edge like working solution they don't want you to just like give you doc- give documentation and just like a basic layout they want like complete proper deployed solution okay yes, sir, uh, I'm just i guess that is that is why they were asking for the video yes, actually this is our problem statement i think you can see my screen yeah it is visible wait wait so that's the problem statement yep okay yeah so you have to build a working demo only it is not mandatory you have to host it somewhere you can make a video of your local demonstration and uh, paste the code or just get up a repo link uh, for the code you have written for the entire project well, uh, make sure you make I a mean, mode repo for uh, back end and front end even the ml algorithms as well uh, okay sir so i mean if possible keep a front end link for sure because like i mean you it won't be a problem if you run it through your notebooks or whatever but again having a front end will be better because we had we had one similar problem statement last year it was regarding uh i guess social media trends uh, yeah social media i don't trends. remember exactly yeah yeah uh, so like the ones that came here all of them had a proper like front end and everything yes sir so uh, while coming to the front end uh, do we need to create some traditional uh, like some some traditional website or we can just use the flipkart source code directly to create this uh personalized product recommendation using flipkart source code will be difficult in the first place because there will be lots of things and if you if you like go with something personalized and like you need a ui just for a demonstration purpose it does not has to look pretty or anything uh, okay okay yes, i mean it should be like okay it should not be like you have you have making button like a, a size of a screen like it should be rational but it's not necessary to be pretty okay sir and uh, i also have one more question sir so actually the title here personalized product recommendations is very familiar like most of the people like four teams have been selected from my university and the four st- teams are uh, getting ready with this personalized product recommendations so uh, can you just give us some suggestions like the ways in which we can stand apart from them in creating this website uh what what are you currently planning for this like what what will you so be going with we, what will you um, be building about this problem statement as a part of a university projects so we have just worked on various things like uh, just showing up the basic recommendations like if the person chooses it and if we just remove it uh, it will just come up like a pop up in the main page and also we just depend upon some geographics like number of clicks on that particular product and we will just try to highlight it and these are the basic uh, recommendations or we had just used it until now but uh, what are the ways in which we can stand apart from them uh, so that it would be different i mean really i can't suggest you like this like to something to stand apart okay because like since every peers is different and we, we really don't know what other people are doing so like there is like no such exact answer to standing apart but yeah one thing that for sure will matter is like how how your project works and like what is your complete implementation as if like uh, you have a proper front end pro- proper back end in the front end in the front end itself you have like all those things that are required required as in like let's say you have uh, uh, this product ranking system right yeah so like let's say for one instance pick up this like uh, like there are 10 products Okay. So based on people who bought similar products or like some product, what are the recommended products? The the, the rank the other person bought the product. Like let's say if you bought a uh, badminton racket, so what are the odds the other person also bought a shuttle? Okay, the cock and the grip. So we need to just yeah. find out the similar things which were 
uh, bought by the other customer yeah let's say let's say let's say yeah, let's say you clicked on that racket wala image yeah and below you can see like other similar products like okay. shuttle your racket to grip and cover your stung the string you know okay yeah i completely got that sir so uh, like this we need to create a full stack project along with the back end so yep the part uh accuracy and relevance of report so uh try yes sir try to go with like some really good model because using some generic model won't cut it out because if the problem statement is not that difficult at all yes, like sir. we need to make it complex it's a, <laughs> no you don't have to make it complex you have the model that you are using make sure that model is not like a basic generic model uh, obviously i can go and just use a llm and like ask if i bought a badminton what the next pro- next product that i might buy so it will it even it will tell you the shuttle cock no okay so yeah, don't we go with the something very generic go with something that is very personalized is like very good enough like for this specific use case yes, i guess for recommendation system you are generally supposed to use nave wise and all that's yes, right got it uh, 50% of the testing would have chosen this problem statement only so you should be prepared for the competition you have around 1000 teams would around 1000 teams would be preparing this only yes sir be uh, be specific on the video as well and uh, on the presentation template they have shared don't make a videos of 20 21 minutes demonstrating the code and all you are sending the code repo with the submission only just uh, be specific about the project how is it working what are the functionalities so uh, in our case only when we went to the finals the judges were non, not all technical they were product managers as well so they just want to know the functionality not the code okay so be specific about the functionalities not the code you uh, if they want you to explain you can explain them about the technologies what you have used but they like they don't ask you the what is written in the, on this line Yes, which what code is that and all got it then also do we need to explain like uh, so, so so sorry so do we have any certain criteria like we need to use the python full stack or java full stack or whatever language uh, yeah. we can use uh, tech stack okay. it's all, it's on you they if they have not very mentioned like what you have to use then they, you can use anything uh, actually to be frank they didn't even mention the data set also So they were like, uh, yeah. Some right. some if you would have attended their meets, no, yes, they they had this meet for health plus, no. Yeah, but so uh, they are only they said that you have to use your data. You can you can search it from your some public place and all. While they were they will be testing your project, no. Sure. Then only they will be providing the data. Okay. Yes, sir. Got you can find the data sets on the uh, Kegel, I guess. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. data sets from kegel yeah yes sir on kegel you can find the relevant data sets on and what about the back end and so i guess like we... yes sir back end i don't think so you will be requiring a like very complex back end you can go with flask only okay sir. you can you can go with something as simple as flask because it won't require so much of configuration and anything you you, you just have to like build a ui and like, some apis so class should be enough yes sure and uh, yeah sai uh, do you want to speak something uh i guess yeah this is it uh, just make sure that your project is like complete don't miss out on anything and don't make it very generic like generic as in like everyone else who is doing this project will be using almost almost the same things like for our case when we when we had a blockchain based problem statements yes, so our tech stack was exactly same as all other people yes, what yes, what what differentiated us was like how we implemented things and what all levels of things we figured out when we were implementing yes. the solution okay sir well uh, i think that is it uh, nagavenkat sai do you want to speak something Anyone else can also speak here. There are people from other teams as well. Ah, uh, so actually, he is in the night shift. Uh, he is working as an intern in Hyderabad. So, just give me oh. one second, sir. I'll just make a call to. Ideas also. 
I mean, yeah, obviously you are allowed to go up and like make it more better. Like if you if you think something really supports a problem statement, then yeah, you can go up and do that. Okay. out like it was a problem statement you have to give suggestion on the basis of the localities and on the ages as well the one example they mentioned is that 20 years old uh, marriage dress uh, versus 35 years old curvature dress in mujafarnagar and mumbai should be different like it is completely something like you have to include two three models first one is you have to implement the social media trends as well they have mentioned that in the problem statement as well so i guess they have built up the first problem statement of the genai one using two or three problem statements at least yes yes yeah so like last time only the social media trends was only one problem statements apart so it is a part of uh, the genai problem statement this time plus like what uh, you can get is in the genai i think uh, there was a one hackathon in flipkart only uh, internal hackathon it was a 24 hours so what the uh, winner uh, did it was open for ideas what the winner did they built a model like it was a uh, ai model clip model i am not into that too much but it was a clip model they used what they did like if you want a uh, dress it uh, so you upload a fabric pattern like i want a pattern of this color uh, or a pattern of this texture and after that you get 9 to 10 suggestions on that on 9 to 10 suggestions of that as well you have a input box at the bottom of each you type like if i have a uh, you get a dress or you get a sweater of that particular texture and you type i want some bindu or what is that i want some yellow color texture in that as well so it will give you nine more items on the basis of that only i hope you are understanding like if it yes. is yeah i mean it's like, like probably probably how it's working is like you up- upload a fabric and that uh, uh, generative ai sort of predicts the patterns which match the same like let's say if you upload a black t a black t-shirt so it will go up and see all the variations that are there to this by generating the new variations of that t-shirt like let's say printed black t-shirt floral black t-shirt and all and then like probably it might do some search and all and then suggest you the probable outcomes so but what we should include in our prototype uh wait let me see the problem statement i did not actually read it i just heard like can you share a screen and like show this problem statement or like if you can type it down in the chat box um, so uh, like what should we actually write in our prototype like uh, write in the sense what do you mean okay prototype uh do include uh, that every type of code like if you are back end or ml based algorithms or something like blockchain based into a mono repo only and Paste the GitHub link. You have to just, I guess, uh, enter the GitHub link in the form only. So in eight days, we have to prepare a full working app, or we can only just provide a prototype about how does it all working is. Prototype is a working demonstration of a like something. Prototype is like you. You are not making it production ready. You are not making. You are not like covering every aspect of it. But yeah, it's. properly working if you if you go up and run it in local it should work properly as it is supposed to be in production if it is a web based uh, like if it is a web based project uh, so they might be able to lo- uh, run it locally on their pcs or something if they want to see that document it uh, that should be document correctly like this is the process how to install the dependencies and how to run the servers and all and how to run the ml algorithm or it is a uh, being used on some server sort of you have hosted so like it should be relevant enough like the documentation how you your prototype can be run on another pc like i don't uh, they don't want like you have if you are going i i don't think that many of them go to with the android apps and all most of them prefer the web apps for the demonstration of the prototype only because web apps are uh, like they can 
use the prototype to see but uh, for android app they have to either have an emulator and all so i i would suggest you go with the web app only try to implement your